Well, in just the past few hours, we've learned that some stoplights in Kansas City are coming back on. It's because some people didn't like it when they were replaced with stop signs. Now, Lisa Vincent has those new developments. She's live from near Armour and Warwick. And Lisa, you've been following the story for us since the decision was made at City Hall today. That's right, Jadion, and this is a brand new stop sign. It's going to be removed, and the stop signals at this intersection, along with 16 others, are going to be turned back on later on this week after a lot of talking and complaining at City Hall. I want to put uh, the city manager on notice, our public work staff, uh, I'll notice that we will continue to monitor this very closely. The city's transportation and infrastructure committee and the full council met separately today. The hot topic, traffic lights. My choice now left with me today is a false choice of turn on or turn off. In September, the Public Works Department replaced traffic lights at 37 intersections with stop signs. They said the signals were unnecessary and 70 years out of date. That decision was made on solid engineering data. They just did it to the community except instead of letting the community be a part of this process. But last month, the city turned traffic lights at six of those intersections back on after citizens voiced concerns about pedestrian safety. Today, the council voted on whether to turn 17 more traffic lights back on. And we do not want any further mistakes to happen uh, from a department like Public Works uh, to this magnitude. But the Public Works Department stopped short of calling their September decision a mistake. They say the signals that were turned off are old and need to be replaced. Public Works' Sean Demery says that would cost seven and a half million dollars. That funding is not immediately present. We'll be looking at further ways as to uh, making sure that the funding is in our next year's budget to continue to keep the lights maintained and also uh, fully operational. Fully operational stoplights that now have the attention of the full council. Now, this time next week, this light will be working properly. Now, the resolution also includes a comprehensive plan to fix or repair any necessary signals. Reporting live, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.